Hello, my name is Taylor Duncan, and I am transgender, or at least I want to be. It's hard because my parents don't accept me for who I am, and that's okay. I understand that it's a lot hard, it's like really hard for them to go through, but it's worse for me. So I try to wear clothes that I want every day, but that usually doesn't work out how I want it to. It's all okay though, because in the end, I know they still love me. And I still love myself. I know I have friends that care about me and all of that. So that's the good things I remember. Get in here now, please. Yes, mom, yes, dad. What on earth are you wearing? Ugh, get that off now! Ow, mommy, quit! Quit, mom! Ow! We do not wear things like this in our house. You are not a boy. This is boy clothes. You are going to go to your room and pick out a cute bow and necklace or a skirt or, you know, I could just burn all of your prized possessions and kick you out of the house. Mom, I... Okay, fine. I'll pick out your clothes, but throw this in the trash. You know what? I don't trust you with this. Honey, throw this in the trash, please. Make sure she doesn't get to it. De no. I'm throwing this away. Sorry. Excuse me. Here, put this on, honey. Maybe you'll look a bit cuter than you are. <gasps> Much better. Now you look like my daughter. Mom, I don't want to be your daughter. Excuse me? Did you just say you don't want to be my daughter? Yes. I, I want to be a boy. I, I, I don't want to wear these clothes. These are uncomfortable. I, I don't like them. Get out! Get out of my house! Go to school! Go! If you come back in different clothing, I will whoop you and I'll kick you out of this house and I'll throw all of your ugly boy clothes onto the road get oh and 
um, did you know that, um, Mr. Jensen gave us homework last night because I totally didn't finish it? Can I have your answers? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. You know what I mean? You know what? St screw him. Screw that teacher. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Hey, guys. Oh, hey. Um, that outfit looks uncomfortable. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Oh, it is. And I didn't get a choice if I wanted to wear it or not. And I can't take it off. So. What happened? My parents saw me walking through the living room this morning with a collar. A pink collar. Um, and they snatched off my throat and she yelled at me and told me that I can't wear boy clothes anymore and that if I did she was going to kick me out and then she told my dad to go throw it in the trash where I couldn't see oh my dog are you okay y yeah are you alright yeah I'm used to it but um they said I have to wear this you know or they're gonna kick me out but I, I hate these clothes I don't want to be who they want me to be I want to be me you know y yeah I totally understand that makes sense it's kind of how my dad reacted when I told him that I was gay but like he accepted it afterwards after I told him how I felt I wrote him a letter or a text. I wrote him a text telling him how I felt and he responded like he was not, you know, I, I, I can't talk about it. Yeah, makes sense, but um, do you think they would actually kick you out? Probably. Too much they hate me. Um, yeah. Thanks for listening, guys. I mean, like, this is, like, really hard for me to go through, and thanks for being here. You know? Yeah, if you want, I, I have an extra collar in my bag, if you want it. And it's also pink, so, yeah. You want me to go get it? Sure, thank you so much. But, um, I'll have to keep this in my locker until the end of the day, and then I'll have to put this back on, okay? Okay. There you go. <sighs> Thank dog, you're a lifesaver. Thanks. <sighs> I feel better now. Good. That's how we want you to feel. Now, my advice is <sighs> go to your parents and write them a letter about how you feel and what you've been going through and maybe they'll understand, you know? Yeah, that's what happened with me and my dad. Yeah, but my parents are not your parents. My parents, they don't understand. Maybe, maybe they're just confused. And maybe they're trying to understand, but they just can't. You know? You gotta think about how they're feeling, too. It's not just you that's, you know, going through it. Yeah. Yeah. I understood that when my dad told me how he felt as well. But... I gotta get to class, okay? I'll see you two girls later, alright? <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. Oh, and good luck. Thanks! Alright, now, write them a letter, okay? Just do it. And I, d I think you should walk in with that collar, too. Because 
I mean, if he gives it to you at least, but if he doesn't, just, you know. Anyways, I'll talk to you later. Good luck, okay? I love you, girl. I love you too. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, there you are. Okay. So, um... Okay. So, I've decided that I'm gonna write a note to my parents, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god, yay! Yes! Good, good, good idea. Yeah, okay. <sighs> okay. Since we just got done with our last classes and we're about to be dismissed from the hallways, um... I'm just, um, I'm scared. I'm a little bit scared. Oh my dog, it's okay. Yeah, it's it's okay to be scared. All right, I know how that feels. Okay, but I'm gonna go. Okay, cause I'm just, my dog doesn't like me being late, but good luck. I love you. You're the best friends. You two are the best people I've ever met in my life. And good luck. Text me everything in our group chat. Text everything that happened, okay? Okay, I will. Alright, goodbye. Oh, I hate being on that side. Anyways. I am gonna leave too, um, good luck, like, yeah, like he said, text the group chat and everything, like, I love you so much, and I hope it goes good, and I know it will go good, thanks, <laughs> I hope it goes good too, alright, bye, bye. I guess I have to go. Excuse me! What? You do not talk to your mother like that. I don't have time for this. <sighs> She's gonna get it. I'm not in the mood to fight right now. Dear mom and dad, I know this is random, but 
This is just me getting out how I feel. You both know that I have been telling you for a while that I don't want to be a girl. I want to be a boy. And you didn't accept me and I went through a lot. That really hurt me when you guys would snatch my clothes and you would just do stuff without me wanting you to. It just doesn't make sense to me why you would do something like that. If you really loved me, why would you why would you do that? And I just wanted to let you guys know that I don't accept who I am. Every time I look in the mirror, I see someone that's not me. And that's not fun. It's like you see a stranger in the mirror, and it's scary. And I know you guys want me to be your little girl, but that's not who I want to be. I want to be myself. I want to be in my natural form. I was born in the wrong body, and there's nothing I can do about that. I just need you guys to accept me. Please. <clears throat> I'm gonna go wash it. I didn't know she felt that way. Why didn't you tell us that? I tried to. Plenty of times, actually. And I never listened, so I just decided that you had to listen. You know? You finally had to know how I felt. I'm so sorry. I didn't know you felt that way. Treating you like dirt. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. It's okay, Mom. I'm gonna go wash up. Honey, can you give us a few moments? Of course. Honey, I am so sorry. I did not know you felt this way, and we didn't know, and we just thought you were... I'm sorry. I accept you, son. You accept me. You love me for who I am. You're gonna let me wear boy clothes and stuff like that. Of course, honey. We're gonna go. We're gonna go clothes shopping tomorrow. Okay. Okay. I love you so much. Oh, I love you too. I love you so freaking much. <laughs> you can come back over here now, Ron. Yes. I love you, honey, okay? I've always wanted a little boy, but your mom always wanted a girl. <laughs> I'm just glad my wish finally gets to come true. I love you, son. We love you. Hey guys, 
I hope you guys enjoyed that film, I guess. Um, it honestly has nothing to do with my life or anyone um, that I know of except for one of my best friends. Um, but um, I made this video for my 200 subscribers special. Sorry, I can't speak special and I love you guys so much and I just want you all to know that you all have gotten me so far and I know that 200 people are watching my videos and supporting me and all that um I just want you guys to know that you're beautiful no matter what people say about you or if if you don't feel like you're beautiful just remember i love you because you're special to me and to everyone around you even all those bullies or all those mean people who make fun of you because of the way you look they are just jealous i'm sure everyone's jealous of you or gorgeous or handsome or whatever you want to be you are you nobody defines the way you look or who you are and i love you guys i hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe and you know like this video i love you guys so much i'll see you sometime um I love you guys. Bye.